Welcome to Nicole's Productions and it's been quite some time since I did a video for you guys so um, I thought it's time I basically make one for you guys now um, and I have a product uh, today to unbox for you guys and the product is going to be the Google's uh, flagship phone uh, the Nexus 4 uh, the LG Nexus 4 as some call it and I'll be unboxing it today for you guys um, I couldn't buy this from the play store however i did pick it up from amazon and had it shipped over to me um it cost me around a good 450 dollars so um about 150 dollars more than what it cost me from the play store um apparently they still haven't uh, got the stock for the nexus 4 on the uh, play store uh, still so that's a bit of a bummer i tried buying it off the play store the day it came out but it was a huge mess as you guys know uh, so yeah i picked it up from amazon and here it is i'll be unboxing it so let's just go ahead and get started firstly we have some paper on the i'll just cut off this paper And let us go ahead and cut it open. And looks like I have managed to cut the box open and we have some packaging material firstly uh, which I will be getting rid of just now so let me just go ahead and remove all that and put it aside and here it is here is the Google Nexus 4 sitting in its box I've been waiting for this device for a long time now I've almost got it a month after it released uh, due to the mess to Google Play Store made out of it and to be honest it comes in a quite a compact box there's nothing much to it, it looks very elegant um, uh, I'm sure you must have seen a lot of unboxings out there already so I won't bore you basically you have a picture of the Nexus uh, phone there and Nexus branding there nothing much on the sides just Nexus phone name and the LG branding on the back you have your usual advertisement, your Google branding, as well as some other details. On the bottom, you have some other numbers and barcodes. So yeah, and after you remove this, it comes off pretty easily uh, compared to the Nexus 7, which was quite a struggle uh, to get the packaging off. Uh, you see this black box. Uh, once again, the two black seals here, yeah, which I will break now, just like that. And that seals are both broken. Let's just go ahead and open up this panel now. And there it is, the Google Next 4 sitting in its box. So let me just go ahead and remove the phone if I can. And I'll put the phone aside and see what else comes in the box since this is an unboxing. So once I lift this panel here, what I see first is the Nexus 4 Quick Start Guide, which is coming in a plastic wrapping, and it also has your safety and warranty information in there. Quick Start Guide, safety and warranty, and your usual literature. Um, what else you get is a USB to micro USB data syncing and charging cable, which is pretty generic with these devices, phone devices. Uh, you also have a wall adapter, your 2-pin style uh, wall adapter uh, with the USB 2.0 uh, to plug in your data syncing and charging cable too. So it uh, basically acts as your sync charge as well as your charger. And lastly you have your SIM card removal tool like the ones they included with the iPhone. So yeah, that's pretty much what's included. 
very minimalistic so yeah this was a quick unboxing um, I will also turn it on in a minute and the phone feels pretty heavy because the battery is already inside it does not have a, a user replaceable battery so yeah this is how the phone uh, feels and to be honest it feels pretty nice in the hand pretty premium uh, let me just go ahead and power it on and you get that vibration and I'm not sure if you can see but uh, it says Google now and it started up with the Nexus logo I'm not sure if you can see that because of the sunlight so if you can see that now it has turned on and I'll just quickly run through the setup I'll skip the sim card insertion right now I'll skip the Wi-Fi right now and it asks you for your basic setting I'll do all that later I'll just basically skip to the main screen and there it is uh, what you're greeted with once you first start the phone and to be honest it has I think one more uh, added row of icons as compared to the uh, Galaxy Nexus and let me just turn up the brightness to the maximum um, and the display looks great I'm not sure uh, uh, how it compares to the Galaxy Nexus, but uh, apparently it uses an IPS LCD too, like the one on the uh, HTC One X. But it looks pretty great. It looks very really crystal clear, and the colors look great as well. Coming from an AMOLED uh, display, uh, I would say it's not a bad display at all. But uh, I guess time would tell, and hopefully in my full review, I'll probably give you uh, uh, detailed feedback on how the display is and other details. So yeah, and this was a quick unboxing. I uh, hope you guys liked it. And stay tuned for more uh, more uh, info and details on the more videos basically on the uh, ne Nexus 4. So yeah, thanks guys for watching this end call. Peace out.